Greetings everyone. Today we're going to discuss the third question of the latest code forces round 893 uh, uh, diff 2. So the name of the question is yet another permutation. Uh, I hope you have read the question and try it once. If you haven't, uh, I will highly encourage you to pause the screen and just read the question at once. So yeah, let's just start it. It's a given that the let's just read the question. Alex got a new game called GCD permutation uh, as the birthday present, and what he is doing that the each round of his game proceeds as follows. Given the, uh, the some rules are given here that. Sorry. Some rules are given here. The rules. What are the rules are given here? The first Alex choose a permutation, uh, and here given that for each i from 1 to n, an integer di is equal to GCD of that number and next number. So that's the basic thing that ai and ai plus one. And the score of the round is the number of distinct number among d1, d2, and dn. So uh, and here it's given what's the permutation is. So uh, what's the basic uh, observation and answer for this question is that let me give you a sample test case. Okay, so let's just consider a uh, five, uh, five because five is not very large number, and we can discuss for five also. So uh, let's just think for five. Okay, so out of all the permutation, uh, when will the maximum answer will occur? When the one is here, the two is here, then the multiple of two is next of two, right? The four, right? And then will, and the multiple of four is next of uh, here. Whether the eight is possible here? No, the eight is not possible. Then we will choose six, three. Then uh, the ideally the next number should be what? The six. Uh, then the six because if the next number will be six, then the GCD will be three. So is six possible? No, six is also not possible. So now we will put five, and this is the uh, valid one because these two have GCD as one. These two has the GCD as two. And rest all of the pair has one. So uh, here the answer is two. Uh, we can look for the another uh, number. Uh, let's just choose this type eight because the eight will give the better uh, picture, I guess. So uh, let's just say that if n is equal to eight, then uh, what will be the answer, right? So for n is equal to eight, uh, answer will be what? The first number will be always one because no matter what, the GCD of one with anything is always one. So first one. Then let's say I said two here. So now next number should be what four. Then the GCD of two and four will be what two. Then I will set eight here because the GCD of four and eight will be what eight. Then next number should be sixteen. Whether the sixteen is possible? No, sixteen is not possible. So now I will choose three. So what should be my next number? It should be six, right? Because if I choose six, the GCD between three and six will be three. The next number should be twelve. Is twelve possible? No, twelve is not possible. So one is done, two is done, three is done, four is done. Then we will choose five. So ideally, next number should be what ten, but that's not possible. So uh, we will uh, look for next number. So now six is done, and the only number remaining is seven. So the only approach is of that this question is that that choose a number and try to insert its all the multiples. Uh, multiples uh, which are less than equal to n uh, and by multiple i means that uh, that two if i choose two then i will then i will try to push four next then i will try to push eight next then i will try to push 16 next and so on and so forth means i will uh, keep multiplying that two to each of the number right this is the approach and why we are doing so because if we do in this manner then it's it's sure that the GCD will be number which is just previous number. For example, the GCD of two and four will be what? Two. The GCD of four and eight will be what? The four. The GCD of eight and sixteen will be what? Eight. And this will make sure that uh, the number of distinct uh, numbers will be maximum. The which is our main objective that we have to uh, we have to what the number of distinct numbers should be among the D1, D2, D3 should be maximum, right? The, our main goal. The score of the round is that number of distinct number. So that's our main goal. So let me show you the code. Uh, I guess the code is pretty much straightforward. What just I said, I just implemented that. Uh, if I show you the code, let me just wait. Yeah. 
so what i have done here that i know the first number will be always one so i just have uh, so i know the first number will be always one so i just printed the one and i have inserted the one two and all numbers in a set and why i have inserted in the set uh, we will get to know uh, in later part so uh, i'll run the loop while all of the elements are not printed right and i have started for the first element so first element will be what if you take the example of 8 then it will be what 2,3,4,5,6 So first 2 will come Right I will print this number and erase this from my set So now 2 is deleted Now next number will be what? The next number will be the multiple of 2, the 4, whether the 4 is present or not. If the 4 is present, then print the 4 and delete it from my set. Okay, I have deleted the 4. Now what's the now I have deleted the value of temp to 4. Now what should be my next target? My next target will be 8. So it will check whether the 8 is present or not. If 8 is present, then print the 8 and delete it. And now it will check whether 16 is present or not. No, 16 is not present. So what's the top of the set the, now 3 is the top of the set now it will select uh, what it will select 3 it will select 3 it will print 3 and delete it from the set so now 3 is deleted now what the next number it will choose it will choose next number as 6 so now 6 is deleted now the value of temp will be what 12 it will search whether the 12 is present or not no 12 is not present okay cool now the top of the set is what? Top of my set is 5. So it will print 5 and check whether the 10 is present or not. 10 is not present. Okay, cool. So now 5 is also printed. Now the top of the set is what? 7. So it will look for 7 and next of the 7 is 14. 14 is present or not? No, 14 is not present. And now when the 4, 7 is also get erased, then the size of the set become 0. And size of the set becomes 0 and this loop get over. So this was the approach. The approach was pretty much based on the observation and uh, slight of understanding of GCD. Thus the question was very easy and I hope you get understand the concept behind this question. If you have any doubt then feel free to ask in the comment section and chat groups. And have a happy coding journey.